Uh, I think this might be the last video I do with all the stuff I've got to sell. There, there might be others, I don't know. Uh, I've still got this plane. This is my plane. Which is a He Wing Ranger TX. And inside it's got my own 4S 2P battery pack. Uh, the design work that had to go into this because when you take off the wing loading is massive. Obviously you've got all this bloody pushing inwards. And I had to do some reinforcing on the um, on the fuselage itself to stop it from flexing too much. It has got a, I think it's a 4K camera in there, I'm not sure. But it's got all the flight controller in here, in there. Expensive flight controller. You've got all the leads and everything you bloody need. Uh, it's got a 1.3 VTX in it. And it's also got Crossfire, which is in the tail, I think. And I'm also going to chuck in my Fat Shark Dominator 2, I think they are. Uh, goggles with a 1.3 gig receiver so that's still for sale this plane's still for sale if anyone wants it as far as I know it was a complete kit that's got a crossfire in it as well which is there uh, GPS GPS is there and we've got a 5.8 receiver a transmitter there motor on the back as should be it's got a flight controller in although I can't remember what it is Oh, it's one of the small, what's it, Matex. As far as I remember, it's all working. It's got a camera in the front as well. So, that is that. It is with great sadness. A lot of sadness, but... Th this thing causes pain when I throw it. Um, so I've got to sell it. I don't want to, but, you know, I don't say needs must, but I want someone else to get enjoyment out of it. Now this thing, if I can get in it, there you go. It's got my own lithium-ion, I think it was a 4S4P pack. Uh, two and a half ampere hour cells, they're, they're um, Samsung 25Rs in there. In the front, there's a Walk Snail Avatar VTX. So it is digital with antennas on the front there. I've got the camera on the front as well. Um, in here we have it was a Matex H743 Wing version 3. Like that. All that's in there. You've even got on the top you've got the the OLED display so as you can see when it's ready to fly rather than putting your goggles on all the bloody time so you can see it on there pito tube these motors which are tiger uh, what are they 80 23 i think they're 80 23 12 motors which aren't the standard ones i bought them separately it's a digital system a digital vtx so the quality is absolutely mind-blowing in comparison to do analog uh, but that's it's gonna have to go because it's causing me pain to throw it. When it's in the air, I'm all right. But it's just that initial, when I throw it, what the bloody hell? And, and it, I don't know. It's quite scary, actually, when I throw it. Um, if I was able-bodied, it'd be completely different. So that's got to go. Make me an offer. I've still got my steam engine to sell, if anyone wants it. Fully working, all tested. The only thing this doesn't come with is a certificate for the boiler. But I think, because I built it to the model industry standard, I don't think there's going to be a problem with it. It's got a pressure relief valve there, you've got a whistle. Um, you've also got a throttle on the bottom here, just in case you need to drain things, I think I'll put that on. And then down here you've got the drain plug. And you've also got there's on here there's a level there's a level glass there and you've got your pressure gauge there 
So it, it's all a complete working system. I've tested it as many times at a higher pressure I can possibly put in it. That was put, I think, about 150 psi. I filled it full of water, banged 150 psi in it. I've got no leaks, no nothing. So then I decided to take the water out and, and put just air pressure in there. And that was at about 150 psi and it was fine. I mean, it only goes up to 60 usually. Um, it starts running at about 20. So anybody, it's a shame. It really is a shame and I don't want to see it going, but it's got to go because it's just gathering dust here. It really <laughs> is. Again, if anyone wants to buy it, make me an offer. Just, just make me a bloody offer, will you? The other thing I've decided to sell, and I don't really know the real reason, but I don't get enough use out of this. This is a Mavic Mini. If I can take that off there. I can show you what I did. This is a battery. The battery plugs in there. You turn it on and away you go with a standard battery. Now if I take that out there and I put this one in, which is basically an empty battery case with a BMS in it. So if I put that in there and then I can close that and then I'll get one of these batteries which is a homebrew 2S battery, you've got three wires, you've got positive, negative and the centre sense wire uh, so as it can read the, the cell batteries, pro the cell voltages properly so what you do is you stick that on there and then you plug it in and it doesn't know the difference, there is no difference you get longer flight times I think I've got about seven or eight minutes longer flight time than, than the standard battery and I've built three of them so you've got three batteries with it now this can be charged on a, a standard charger which I'll include the adapter that I made uh, so you can charge it directly through there with the balance leads and everything or you can put it on the on the quad just leave it on the quad and charge it through the USB port as standard and it can easily just pull that out and you put the normal battery in so it can easily be trans uh, used to it can easily be used with normal batteries you know what I mean so that's going uh, there's a transmitter as well which I've upgraded I've modified the shit out of this thing it's got higher rating cells in it, I think it's a 6 ampere hour as opposed to about 4 uh, those batteries are inside I've also made the bleeper quieter so the bleeper's quieter you also got another LED at the bottom there which is sort of illuminated but when there's any warnings or anything else that, that LED starts flashing so it's quieter than the it's quieter than the normal ones because they're bloody deafening. I was annoyed at that, so I quietened it down. That charge is exactly the same as normal. That charge is exactly the same. You can use these batteries in it. You can make your own, and it's easy. The aircon unit's still there. It's fully working. It's probably 12 months old with the extractor and absolutely everything with it. I can't remember the spec of it, but it was the most powerful one I could get. It's a heater, cooler, it does absolutely bloody everything. So that's going as well. That's the plane I'm keeping. That flies really well, that does. It's so lightweight, it's just easy to throw. Oh, memories, memories. As, as, do you want those two? For 50 quid, if you're watching this. I did say it last time, but otherwise it's going to go to anybody else. But if you don't want it, I don't mind. Just let me know. Uh, but they're going to go for 50 quid. Uh, everything else is bloody spoken for, really. Well, it isn't. No, that's Sander, my mate Jeff's having, and all the bits and pieces that go with it. So I'm selling that. I'm getting rid of all this stuff. It's all got to go. I don't, I want to completely, I don't know, I've got it in my head, my head now that this room has got to be completely empty with nothing left in it. 
So if anyone sees anything that they want, they're empty boxes. This was used as a bloody dumping ground really. Oh, it's a prop balancer there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm selling, at, it's very hard to explain, but yeah, I, I, am, I am suffering with mental health. I've got mental health problems and, and it's not it's not a shame, it's not an embarrassment as it used to be. When I was, you know, in my 20s, stuff like that, having any, any mental health, sort of depression or anxiety, anything like that, you had to hide it. It was always hidden. But now we're in a different era where that sort of thing is acceptable. People, people understand that sort of thing more and it's, it is a big bloody issue. Uh... I, I have anxiety attacks which, which last three days. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm depressed. The doctor's changing my medication now because the one I was taking wasn't working properly. I've, part of the problem is all these unfinished projects, which the carbon fibre is going tomorrow, the spot welder and everything else is going tomorrow. I want a clean break. I want, I want everything out of my way. Because looking at these things on a daily basis... Is just screw my head up. You know, I can't. I can't do these things anymore. I can't. I can't concentrate enough. At the at, when you're younger, you've got a um, an impulse to stop doing something when it gets to a certain point. Well, I've still got that certain point impulse, but by the time I hit that point my brain's gone into internal meltdown and, and it makes me ill. So I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't do the thinky sort of process. I have to have a simple life. I have to have simple things to look at, you know. Um, with regards to my pains, my problem, I know for a fact what the problem is. Uh, I've got a lump in my back which is about the size of a golf ball. And every health professional I have spoken to, I've said, I've got this lump in my back. And they've all said, no, 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 no. It's nothing to do with it. It's almost like everybody in the NHS have been trained and they've been told that if anyone says to you they've got a lump in your back, just completely ignore it because it's too hard to treat. I, I get that impression and I want to scream at somebody to say, will you f listen to what I'm saying? I know the lump in my back is the cause of the problem and the NHS are not going to treat it. I need to do this on my own. I need to, I need to sell all this stuff to gain as much money as I can to go and get treatment in whatever form it is. I've got a few options at the minute, but I am, I'm determined now to get out of pain because I've been suffering with this now for three years. It's not getting any better, but I know the cure. I know exactly what the cure is. My, my sciatic nerve, it's been described to me as like an elastic band. If you get, I've got, I haven't got one here, but if you get an elastic band and then you start stretching it like that, obviously it goes tight. Now, when you keep that pressure on and you let go, it might keep sort that sort of elasticity. It's like a memory thing. And when you take all the pressure off and you put it back to normal, you have a look at that elastic band. It goes like that. It won't ever return back to its original place if you keep it stressed enough. Well, because of COVID and everything else that happened over the years, I couldn't get the treatment. I couldn't get the proper treatment. Um, and now it's caused, I would say permanent damage because I know there's a cure. I, I haven't had a shave. I'm a tramp, I don't care. If somebody comes around and buys something, I'll have a shave. I, I've just had, you know, salt of the earth, sort of genuine people, proper blokes, you know, who, 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 who don't mind getting something broken and health and safety is a second sort of thought in the mind. I mean, Martin, you, you're probably going to be shocked that I'm going to mention it, but I, I, my hat's off to you, mate. You're absolutely salt of the earth. Both of you who turned up today, absolutely salt of the earth. And it makes me proud to have met you. But I'm going to be all right. 
but I need to I need to get rid of all the 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 the, the negativity the the horrible thoughts that I have about oh, I can't finish that I can't fly my plane I can't do this I can't do that because it's so frustrating to me that I can't do these things anymore the NHS has let me down badly and I need to find a cure I don't know how long it's going to take I don't know in what form it might take years it might take months I don't know but I've got to get that treatment done now because I know it exists and I'll do anything to get it. Getting rid of all this stuff is a daily reminder of things that I've got to get done. And it's so frustrating that I can't do it anymore. But I've got to admit that that's part of my life now. I've got to admit it. Otherwise I'll never dig myself out of this hole. Um, I'm not, YouTube is not gonna be, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop making videos because Believe it or not, I I enjoy my ah f I enjoy making videos. It's what I really do enjoy is the education that I give to people, and 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 you know, you might be have a, a couple of laughs along the way, and that's what makes me smile. It makes me happy to see other people happy, and that's what I was put on this bloody earth to do. I think so. I'm going to keep making YouTube videos. They're not going to be in the form that they used to be because I can't build the stuff anymore. I've got to admit it, but I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm definitely not leaving YouTube. But we'll see, we'll see what the future brings. I don't know, but I know the cures out there. And that's the most frustrating part to me is I know what the problem is. Whether I raise enough money or not, I don't know. I don't want to go fund me. I don't want to do anything like that. Maybe in the future, I don't know, but not now. Definitely not now. I need to do this on my own and I need to get rid of all this stuff that's just driving me insane. I can't, it can't be here anymore. So once that's done, I'll, I'll see where we go from there. I'll see what's what's what. See if I can raise the cash to actually do it. I don't know what means I'm going to have to take, but I will do everything I can. Everything I can. This is just a part of my life. Welcome to my life. Because I'm going to drag you through it, whether you want to see it or not. If you want to watch it, you watch it. If you don't like it, don't f watch it.